Uh, good morning, everyone. Welcome back to my channel. Uh, today I'm working on this, uh, this 2012 GMC Acadia. And um, I was having a problem with this vehicle. And it took me a little while. I couldn't figure it out. Mm. Let me see. It had, it had the code P0697. Uh, which it had to do with the uh, uh, five volt reference circuit uh, three, I think. I gotta look it up. And um, what the car was doing is um, the car would run fine, especially the cold days. I had the car the whole winter and it ran fine on the cold days, but sometimes I would just get in it and start the car and the checking light will come on the uh, traction control will come on and the uh, engine power reduce will come on and it will not allow the car to drive uh, uh, like it will reduce the power so you have to drive kind of slow you know it'll, it'll take up slow and then once you get it to speed then you can you can start driving fine <clears throat> but uh it was an intermittent problem and uh, every time I scan the uh, uh, vehicle, uh, sometimes I let it sit for a day. And I went the next day to start it up, and there were no codes, there were no problems, there were no issues. The car ran fine, and there were days I got in the car, uh, tried to drive it, and uh, checking the light was back on, and power reduced, traction control, and it was just driving me crazy. It was driving me crazy. I couldn't figure it out. It was intermittent until uh, now that it started warming up. Now the uh, the vehicle uh, is not. It's just uh, power reduced. Uh, it doesn't matter if it's warm or if it's cold. It's, now it's just power reduced all the time. Uh, so I knew it was time for me to actually. Um, uh, try to figure out this issue and it did take me a little while and I want to share this video because I think somebody was having another issue like this and this may be the answer for their problem so let me go ahead and uh, start uh, let me go ahead and show you uh, what I found on this vehicle so this is the 2012 GMC Acadia with the 3.6 liter engine uh, right now it's running it's running fine um, like I was saying I was getting uh, this codes right here that was getting the P0300 uh, engine misfire on startup and the P0697 which it had to do with the 3 volt reference uh, uh, reference 3 circuit and every time I came here uh, I don't know if you're gonna be able to see as you can see uh, it says the engine control module has four internal 5 volt reference circuits so I was checking the uh, the reference circuits and it, you, if you notice right here it says circuit 3 Reference 3 circuit status, it shows okay. And then you go over here uh, for reference 3, and the voltage is uh, 5.0. 5.0. And I noticed that when the check engine light was coming on and the engine power reduce was coming on, it would have like 4.8 or 4.9 in here. And later on, it'll come back up to 5.0. So that 0.1 voltage, it was uh, making a difference on this vehicle. Right now, uh, it does not have a check engine light. It does not have a. Uh, it does not have a check engine light. It does not have a traction control, and it does not have the uh, power reduce. And so what the uh, 5 volt reference 3 circuit 
controls, it says right here, it provides 5 volts to the following sensors. The manifold, absolute pressure sensor, and the accelerator pedal. Uh, so, uh, what, I, what I did, what I did uh, to start tackling this problem, I went ahead and replaced the uh, manifold. Uh, the uh, absolute manifold absolute pressure sensor uh, and that did not take care of the problem uh, I did not have to spend any money because I deal with a lot of these vehicles and I have a lot of extra parts around here so uh, I used the uh, manifold absolute pressure and nothing and I got another uh, accelerator pedal position sensor I I I didn't have to buy the part again. I, I had another one here, so I used a uh, pedal from another truck and nothing. So I discarded that, and then I proceed to check uh, the wiring harness, and all of the terminals were fine for the wiring harness. So uh, it ended up being the PCM. This is the PCM, and there's an internal failure. This is the original PCM for this vehicle. And as you can see, you have to go buy this number right here. If you're gonna get a used piece, um, uh, first of all, let me, let me just tell you this. Anywhere you go, uh, they're gonna tell you if the, P if the PCM is at fault, they're going to tell you that you need a new PCM and they have to order from the dealership. And that is actually true. You have to order the PCM from the dealership. You cannot use a used PCM. Uh, I did, but I'm going I'm to I'm explain that later. Uh, so you, you cannot use a... You cannot replace this PCM with a used PCM and try to get a program because once the VIN number is written into the PCM, there's no way that you're gonna uh, you're gonna program another VIN number into this PCM. So that's why the dealerships they do not they will not if you replace your PCM with a used PCM, they're not gonna program it for you. Uh, they will not. So you have to, if you're going to go through the dealership, you have to buy the OEM PCM through them and then send it, send the car back to them so they can reprogram the PCM. That's the standard procedure. Now let me tell you, let me, let me tell you what I did because uh, when I tried to order this PCM, um, it was on back order. And they say it could be six months or who knows, it, it could take a year. So I'm like, man, I can't, I can have this car down for a whole year. So I found this guy in Houston. Uh, I don't have his information with me, but I found this guy in Houston. And what he did, he cloned this PCM. Uh, let me just cut off the car. Uh, like like I said, it doesn't have any coats anymore. Uh, let me just shut it off. Uh, so what this guy did for me, he got the information out of the uh, this PCM and cloned uh, another PCM that I had. Uh, notice that if you're gonna use a, uh, if you're gonna get a used computer, uh, you have to go by this number right here. And you have to go by this number right here. Uh, I believe this and this number and this number match. And uh, luckily, I didn't have to get a, uh, I didn't have to go buy a PCM at the junkyard because I had here the. Um, uh, I bought a car for parts, a 2012 Chevrolet Traverse. And this is the original PCM. This is the 2012 Acadia Denali. And this is for the Traverse. 
as you can see as you can see uh, E39 E39 matches with uh, E39 right here and then I have the 12648906 and over here I got the uh, uh, 12648906 and I have double A69 over here I got double A69 so even though this is uh, GMC and this is Chevrolet they're still compatible so that's another key thing uh, that's another key right there you cannot just go get a PCM just because it looks like like this one you cannot just get any PCM because um, uh, a lot of these trucks uh, they're gonna have uh, depending on the trim they're gonna be a little different some of them gonna have more accessories than others and uh, the PCM does not control the accessories but it does communicate with the uh, body control module so you want to get the right PCM make sure that these numbers match you know don't worry about these numbers right here or these numbers right here uh, and uh, you don't have to worry about the service number or this barcode right here but you do need to make sure that this match this match and this match and um, so I got this guy to clone this PCM for me and now the car is running and driving fine I've been driving it for at least uh, a week and it's already ready to Uh, it's almost ready for inspection. Let me just show you. I don't have any more engine codes stores in here. Let me just go through right quick. So no more engine codes, no more power reduce, no more traction control and no more misfires so we're good now we're good to go this car is good to go and ready to be sold so if you guys uh, have any questions just put them below the comments i will try to get to you as fast as i can uh, and um, um, you can uh, uh, send me your questions and i'll get back with you and if you like this uh, video and it's helpful for you just like share and subscribe thank you very much i'll see you on the next one